Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back. I don't even want to blow the snow. <laughs> I am so over my fake snow guys, but I don't want to get rid of my background. It's still Britmas, technically Britmas 2021. I'm just living. I love this background so much. Now today's video, I'm super excited because it is all about, I shouldn't really be excited because this place is so freaking dark, but what I'm excited about is it's the Cecil Hotel and I'm excited because it's, um, I almost said sponsored. <laughs> This video was sponsored by Ghost Adventures, no. And Discovery Plus, I'm kidding, no it's not. This video is inspired because recently Ghost Adventures came out with their investigation at the Cecil Hotel. I have not seen it yet. So as I'm filming this, you're probably watching this because I know it's premiering on Discovery Plus on January 4th, so you're probably watching this January 5th or sometime after that. So getting into the Cecil Hotel. This hotel is located in downtown Los Angeles. It was built in 1924 and it opened in 1927. It is believed that this hotel is cursed. I mean, it makes sense. All the deaths, the suicides, the freak accidents, Elisa Lam, the paranormal activity, it is effed which is exactly why I wanna go there so badly. And this hotel was once the temporary home for two serial killers. In 1934, a man killed himself by slashing his throat with a razor. Less than four years later, a man jumped to his death from the very top of the Cecil Hotel. In 1944, a 19-year-old girl woke up in the middle of the night with awful stomach cramps. She went to the bathroom and she gave birth to a baby boy. She had no idea that she was pregnant. She thought her baby was dead. So what exactly did she do? Well, she decided to throw the baby out the window. Imagine you're in downtown Los Angeles. It doesn't have to be the Cecil, or maybe it can be. You're just casually walking down the street, down the sidewalk, minding your own business. It's a nice, beautiful day. And you have no idea that you're about to die. In 1962, a 65-year-old man was walking by the Cecil Hotel when he was struck to death that instantly killed him by a falling woman. This woman jumped from the ninth floor of the Cecil Hotel after having an argument with her husband. Before she jumped, she left a suicide note. Just the timing of him walking in that exact spot as she's jumping to her death and she lands on him, which instantly kills him and instantly kills her. That just gives me chills. The police actually thought it was a double suicide at first, but no. She just jumped to her death, but she landed on this man, which killed him instantly. Now in the mid 1980s, infamous serial killer Richard Ramirez, he stayed on the top floor of the Cecil Hotel during his killing spree. And at the time, he was only paying $14 a night to stay at this hotel. After he would kill someone, he would take off his bloody clothes and put them in the Cecil Hotel dumpster. I don't understand how this hotel is up and running today. I know they've tried to rebrand themselves and get rid of the Cecil Hotel name, but people are always going to know this is the creepiest and I think it's still the most dangerous hotel in the world. Even though I want to stay there and investigate, this is not a place that I would go to for Brady 44's Fear, where it's a series on my channel where I go to the most haunted places ever and I stay overnight by myself and I can't leave, I can't run away, I gotta stay and investigate. I don't think, for my safety, I don't think I should go to the CISA Hotel alone. There's still weird events that take place, of course, and we're gonna get into more of the recent events, obviously, but um, yeah, this hotel is f***ed. In the early 1990s, there was another serial killer that would call the CISA Hotel a temporary home. Jack Unterweger, I'm pretty sure I'm saying his last name right, even though it doesn't even matter, because f*** him. And there's a rumor that he chose to stay temporarily at the Cecil Hotel because of Richard Ramirez. Jack was a serial killer that went after prostitutes. He would strangle them to death by using their own lingerie. So he's f***ed. And I feel nothing towards him. I feel nothing towards ser serial killers. That's why I don't really talk about them much on my channel, because it makes me so angry. I mean, you guys have seen. If you want to check out my Chris Watts video, Definitely check that out. There's been some murders at the Cecil Hotel that are still unsolved 
to this day, including one of a woman that was found in her room dead. She was assaulted, stabbed, and strangled to death. You may also be familiar with Elizabeth Short, who came to be known as the Black Dahlia. She was seen at the Cecil Hotel just before her murder. Now moving on to a recent tragedy that happened in 2013 to Canadian college student Elisa Lam, which this story is so freaking bizarre. And I believe from the previews that I've seen for Ghost Adventures that they are really focusing on the Elisa Lam case. So I'm pretty sure you have seen this footage of her in the elevator acting so strange. She's pressing all the buttons and there's theories that maybe she was playing the elevator game. You guys know I, the elevator game is like my favorite paranormal game. I've played it so many times on my channel. The first time I played it was at the Paris in Las Vegas. I play it everywhere I go. I love elevators. And what I played at the Cecil Hotel, probably, most likely. Elisa Lamb's behavior in this elevator was quite disturbing. She was constantly looking around as if she was looking for somebody or somebody was after her and she was scared for her life. Nobody knows who was after her, maybe she was on drugs, there's so many different theories. But what is so unexplainable and bizarre is the fact that her body was found in the water tank and nobody knows how she got in there. There's no way that she could have just gotten in there by herself without the help of somebody who knows the place, an inside job perhaps, somebody who works at the CISA hotel. That is my theory. I truly believe it's a staff member and it's somebody who works there and they're being covered up. It's so weird. It's so strange. She traveled by herself. Maybe this person had their eye on her. Maybe they drugged her. Maybe they were following her in this hotel and she was aware of that and she was just really frightened and eventually this person got to her. But how exactly was Elisa Lamb found? Well, during the time of her murder, because I truly believe she was murdered, I don't believe she just walked up into a water tank and drowned herself and she took off all of her clothes. I don't believe that at all. But as she was dead in this water tank, the guests at the time, many of the guests that were staying at the Cecil Hotel, were complaining about the water pressure and complaining about how the water had a really funny, weird, it, it makes it just makes me sick to think about it. It just had a weird taste, a funny taste. And the reason why it had a funny taste and the reason why the water pressure was affected was because Elisa Lamb's body was up in the water tank. Now getting into the paranormal because a lot of people have reported paranormal activity at this hotel. Some people think it's so evil, which I mean the dark history, the really disturbing dark history that has happened at this hotel Yes, there's a lot of evil. But in 2014, a young boy captured this image on camera. A ghostly twist for a downtown hotel with a macabre past. The Hotel Cecil was a part-time home to the Night Stalker and the Black Dahlia. It's had its share of suicides and strange deaths over the years. And now this, this photo showing a ghostly figure outside a fourth floor window. A Riverside boy with a love of scary films and ghost stories took the picture. And he says it looks a little too real. When I looked at that window, it just looked kind of creepy to me, and then I showed my friend, and he, he kind of freaked out. I don't know, it just creeps me out still. Now in 2015, there was a body found of a man that committed suicide, and that is the most recent body that has been found at the hotel. But it's just the history of this place. All the deaths, the murders, the acts, the freak accident of that man just casually walking by the Cecil Hotel and the woman lands on him and kills him and kills her instantly. Richard Ramirez, Elisa Lamb, there's just so much evil at this hotel it gives me chills and I know I sound really crazy for wanting to go there but I do. It is one of my, I don't, I shouldn't really say dream location because that kind of sounds, you know, but um, I, I want to go there. I want to go there so badly and investigate and I want to go on all the floors, everywhere. I want to do a full, I want to stay there for a week or something. And I remember actually a year ago when I was in Los Angeles, I was there for the event Harleywood for Birds of Prey. And I remember I was like, oh my God, like, will I have time? Maybe I can go over to the Cecil Hotel. Really, I was thinking about doing something, but I didn't have time. But I did go to the Roosevelt Hotel. I've never been there before. But I went inside the Roosevelt and we had drinks. Um, I was with Warner Brothers actually. It was very fun. So that was my first time going there and I drank Coca-Cola. <laughs> but um, yeah, just sitting in the, 
it was just really cool and listening to the ghost stories because um i was talking to some people there about the ghost stories so that's another place i would love to stay at so it was cool that i got to go in and you know see it but i definitely want to maybe i'll do a birdie 44 sphere at the roosevelt but um i would love to do birdie 44 sphere at the Cecil but definitely not by myself even though for a couple episodes I haven't been by myself I've been um, with my brother Jonathan just the two of us our last crazy investigation was almost a year ago we went to Savannah Georgia we stayed at five ugh, terrifying haunted locations for five nights straight it was probably the craziest thing I've ever done <laughs> but and I was so sick it was awful I felt like crap the whole time it was crazy, but um, definitely check that out as well. It was a lot of fun, so. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on Ghost Adventures investigation there. I have not seen it yet, so I need to watch it. I'm really excited to see what they um, captured, and I just wanna, oh, you guys know. <laughs> you guys know. I love Ghost Adventures so much. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.